Hello YouTube, this is Austin from Red Cat RC Tech here. Um, I've had a couple questions on how to program the Castle SET ESC or just any Castle Sidewinder ESC in general. First you're going to make sure if you're not using Link to have your little um, driver's ed guide. Driver's ed guide you're definitely going to want. It shows your little reference for performance. See, every how the coding is it'll have a first set of beeps and then the second so you got your brake and reverse type it'll beep one time it'll go beep and then beep option one which is reverse lockout but when you first get your castle SCT ESC or any side winders the little D's with the star next to them is what's set everything's set up it's already set for lipo on or lipo cut off everything else <clears throat> so there's some people out there that buy this and they want to turn on drag brake, or they want to do punch control, bla uh, brake remount, or a mount, sorry. And, or they, there's some people like I did. I was running the uh, Traxxas Power Cell, 7 cell, nickel metal hydrate pack for a while. And when I first started trying to program this ESC, it was just a pain in the ass. And a lot of people are having problems. They don't know how to program so they can run 7 cell. And a lot of people are putting out rumors saying you can't. Well, that's a lie. Obviously, my videos I ran is perfectly fine. Um, it does strip spur gears, which my problem is I stripped my spur gear and I just got a LiPo battery. I just got done programming my ESC for the second time, which is now it's easy for me. But I accidentally put 10% drag brake. I don't want drag brake due to the fact is when you let off the throttle, it starts putting brakes on. I don't want that. I want to be able to sit there, let off, and then punch it back again punch the throttle and lift up on a wheelie and I can't do that once I let off it starts to break and the front end will come down so I'm going to put my little guide into the side right here I'm going to take my lipo set it down here and I'm going to plug my lipo in at first okay oh, put my guide back over here my connections are made everything's plugged in I do suggest that you pull your uh, pinion gear off your vehicle Due to some safety problems, I mean, there's some people that have programmed their ESCs where once they programmed them or tried to program them, or when they first started, their truck took off, car or truck, sorry, went to go take off on them. So just to demonstrate, I'm going to take my pinion off, just for some safety reasons. Castle recommends you take the pinion off, punch all companies recommend you take the pinion off for especially brushless setups if you're first running a lipo my pinion is off and how we're going to start I'm going to take my 2.4 turn it on and what you do with any of your remotes you hold your throttle down hold it down and then you turn your ESC on and when you turn your ESC on it's going to make a series of beeps and then once the beeps stop you let off See, beep, beep, that's one. Okay, option one. To accept it, you pull the throttle backwards if you were going forward, and to decline, you'd go reverse. You'd push it back in reverse. So option one. I want to decline that one. And after those beeps, you're done. So, boop, boop, boop. I want to decline that one. The first one, reverse lockout. The second one, option two, is forward and brake only. I want to decline that. So, option one, one, two, three, option three, forward brake reverse. And now here's the brake amount. Option one, beep, 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 beep. Decline. Accept, 50% brake. You don't need all that much brake. And now we got a reverse mount. And I'm going to decline 25%. Three, one, two. And that's 50%. I'm going to accept it. It's stack, uh, stock uh, castle. High function. 
and this is the punch control. So you got, it's going to count, you have one which is your break reverse type, two is your break amount, three reverse amount, four is punch control. So you got the first series which tells you what, what setting you're on, and then it's show, the options is the second set. So, one, two, three, four, one, two, and I'm going to decline that. I'm going to decline it until I get to option five. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. Option five disabled. Accept. And I'm going to accept zero drag break. Five, six. Five, six. Accept. Setting two. All right. What I did was break and reverse type, and I let it beep one, and then one. I declined it. And that's the stock, as I said. The D's with the stars next to them is what Castle puts for stock. So I put for the break reverse type, I did option three, which is for break and reverse. I wanted all that because I'm a basher, I'm not racing. And you're going to want reverse anyway. For break amount, I did 50%, which is the second option, which is already set. So you can basically just, once you get past, once you hit one, all right, it beeps, one, two, pause, beep one more time. One, two, one two and then you accept on one two one two reverse amount i let option two which is normal and then i waited to punch control to option five which is disabled and it just it slows down on the punch on how much punch you have when you first um hit the throttle um yeah and then drag brake i turned it off so there's no drag brake and then Number six is throttle dead band. I'm not entirely sure what that is, so I left it at the normal .1000 MS, which is stock tracks with the D star next to it. So you got option one. It'll say one. It'll beep six times, stop, and then one time, and then you decline by hit, pulling it, your stick or your throttle into reverse, and let it do this little series of like three or four beeps. It'll go beep 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 beep, and then. It'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, and then beat two times. It'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, beat, beat. And then you pull full throttle forward to accept that. And then it'll go down to voltage cutoff. And this is what mainly everyone's trying to figure out. You got your voltage cutoff. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, beep, none. And if you want to run nickel metal hydrate, you pull full throttle to accept it. And then it'll go back and it'll go to motor timing, which you let it go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Beep, decline, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, beep, beep, accept. Motor type, you can let it go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, accept. And then your programming will done. I'll sit there and go through the normal castle, do 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 and it's done. So I'm going to finish my, auto, my voltage cutoff. And then we're going to shut off the ESC. And then you got, I'll shut my AC off here in my room so because I know there's a lot of background noise with that. And then you guys can hear it counting my two cell lipo. Beep boop. I'll do it one more time. One, two. That's basically it, guys. Um, any comments or questions, please put post under. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and see you guys later.